Do clients have an absolute right to fire their attorneys at any time for any reason? For example, could you fire your attorney in the middle of trial because you think he's wearing an ugly tie? We explore that question in Ruskin v. Rogers. Gerald Ruskin and James Rogers entered into an agreement to jointly purchase an apartment building and convert it into high-end condos. When Rogers allegedly failed to perform as promised, Ruskin filed suit for specific performance. Two days before trial, Rogers sought a continuance. He claimed that his attorney wasn't prepared for trial because he'd been working on another case. The trial court denied Rogers' request. Trial commenced as planned. When Rogers' attorney was cross-examining the first witness, Rogers decided that he wanted to fire his attorney. His attorney orally requested that the court allow him to withdraw. The court denied that request. The trial court ultimately ruled in Ruskin's favor. Rogers appealed to the Illinois Appellate Court. Among other things, Rogers argued that the trial court erred in refusing to allow him to discharge his attorney mid-trial and in denying his request for a continuance.